Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And I have an important video for you today. Practicing correctly is the vital way to improve your game no matter what your skill level. Now, stretching like this when you walk into the pool room might be a little bit strange, but it's better to look like a jackass than to play like a jackass. Driving balls into the rail all day is not fun, and I can promise you, if it's not in front of everybody, all top players are doing some sort of stretches. And it's not just stretches, I mean, they're doing a little bit of cardio probably, I know Jason Shaw does a little bit of light lifting, but like things like eye drops, keeping your hands clean, working on your tip and cleaning your shaft, stuff like that before you get playing every time is vitally important. Definitely give this a try. I'm not kidding before every session. Now, what this video is about is something that I've seen in the pole room since I was four years old in a pole room. People get out of their car, they walk in, their cues are probably still ice cold from you know the weather or super hot from the weather. They walk straight in, they walk up to their buddy and want to start hitting balls right away and playing games of pole against somebody right away. I get that's what pole is and that's what's fun. However, it is not the best way to get the best out of yourself for each practice session. When you walk into a high, tor a high level tournament, especially a pro event, you see nothing but top level players just pocketing balls and that's what I want this drill to be for you the reason this drill is so important is because of your state of mind whenever you're playing I'll go over the things I want you to think about while you're doing this but for now you really just don't want to get yourself started off in a bad frame of mind before each um, time that you play somebody or jump up and play like dogging this ball against somebody is a big deal but when you're here and you're just warming up you know, it's not a big deal. You're like, ah, I'm just warming up. I put a bad stroke on it. I probably should have went over and back instead of trying to spin it. Stuff like that. It's not a big deal. You dog a ball, go down a couple games against a guy that you should be beating, stuff like that can put you in a bad state of mind. So you want to get comfortable and get these things out of the way, just warming up against nobody, just shooting balls in. Now, what I want you to do is at the beginning of this, throw balls up in a very easy pattern to where it's easy to get out, easy to make balls gets you some fluidity um, but what you really want to do as you get going is maybe start doing a little bit of a clustered layout and you want to do this drill for a good long time you know maybe even until um, you're, you're getting that good feeling that you're looking for uh, there's no set amount of time I mean even if it's just for 10 minutes it's better than just walking in getting up cold and playing against somebody um, good player is gonna sit you down you're gonna get into safety battles and it's gonna be hard it might take you a half a set or a whole set to find what you're looking for and by that time it's too late and the ball already started rolling down the wrong direction and what you're thinking about here is, is your pre-shot routine uh, you know stroke timing a uh, little bit of a pause for the cause and the backstroke um, all those little things that you know if you haven't worked on those things prior let me know in the comments below I will give you some uh, things to think about and some receipts to uh, think about for your pre-shot routine now mine is nothing elaborate. I mean, you want to make sure obviously that your your hands and your feet are in the correct position. That's obvious. But I have this thing where I try to chalk before every uh, shot, um, just a certain pace. You want to work on your pace to, that I chalk, put the chalk down, and then um, I have a breathing thing that I do that's before the shot. Then I get down over the shot. If everything feels like it's in the correct place, I also do some more breathing over the shot. Then I do a couple practice strokes, and then I have a certain pace on my stroke, a little pause in my stroke that I have, and then a finish that I go for. That's all things you should be thinking about. I just dogged that seven ball because I'm telling you, I get more nervous shooting these videos than I do playing pole or playing somebody. But um, those are the things you want to think about. It's all, you know, something that's constantly going through your mind while you're doing this warm up drill. And like I said, if you have any questions of what you should be working on, let me know below. I can help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.